Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. If you are new here, you will not regret it. I promise you, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Rice and Mateen, and I make all kinds of fishing content, fishing videos. As you can see right here, I got my red-tailed catfish. Let me turn on the light. Oh, I spooked him. But yeah, today I'm going to be doing my third Walmart fish tank challenge. You guys have seen my last videos. I've done a $30 challenge and a $40 challenge, and those are two of my most uh, popular most viewed videos on my channel so I was like you know what I gotta do it again but let's go lower instead of higher this time let's say for your birthday you get 20 bucks from your grandma or something like that we'll go ahead and see if we can make that work for you guys so I got 20 bucks only if we go over with tax I might get a few things to change but we got 20 bucks we're gonna head to Walmart and we're gonna see what we can buy also if you haven't seen my last few videos the other walmart challenges i'm going to put them in the description so you can check them out so it fits your price range but anyways guys let's head to the car That's enough car jams. I'll go ahead and I'll catch you guys at Walmart. So, woo! This is what I got for my, I think it was a $40 challenge. No, it was a $30 aquarium challenge is what I got. Um, up here it's $12.97. Ooh, a gallon multi-LED lighting, a filter. Comes with free fish food, filtration, right. requires batteries. Okay, I probably have them at home. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy for only $12. All right, so now that we have the tank, we have to find some decoration, some rock, some like a centerpiece. We need a... So these are five pound bags. They're way too big. They're five bucks, a little bit pricey. Um, we can either get I know, we're gonna go with this. Rainbow gravel, only 2.94. It's only two pounds, it'll fit our tank perfectly. Just five pounds is a bit too big for this, so we got some aquarium gravel right there. All right, so we got about four more dollars, and that's before tax, so you gotta find something cool, like a centerpiece. I'm thinking something like this, like Dory right here. That would be dope, but. Um, yeah, we got the tank. We got some gravel. I just want some decor. It is a small tank So let's go ahead and find something. I found Patrick, but he's broken So sad Oh, the door is also messed up <laughs> No Yo, they got Squidward too. His whole head's gone Oh my gosh What else is that? Oh, these guys are cute Alright so this star is one of the only things that isn't broken, so we're gonna go ahead with this. It's 278, and if you have some money left, why not get a neon plant? I think these plants are 98 cents, so we'll go ahead and grab one of these. Personally, I'm a fan of this blue, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this plant, and we're also gonna grab this star. They look so dope together in the tank with the rainbow gravel. It will definitely be a crazy combination, but why not? send it i mean it's a little tank it doesn't have to be like aesthetically pleasing um a lot of you guys watching are probably kids and don't really care you guys like funky colors so yeah i also grabbed some fish food for at home so um i'll go ahead and catch you guys at checkout all right guys sorry if it was hard to hear me in walmart i had to use my phone uh, the mic doesn't really pick up too well, and uh, I was wearing my mask. But let's go ahead and do an overview of what we just bought. Uh, the total was $21.05, I believe. Um, it got to like $25 after I bought my fish food, but that's not a part of the challenge. I know it's over $20, but I'm sure your parents wouldn't mind rounding up a dollar, or you wouldn't mind rounding up a dollar, probably have one lying around, so that's all good. But we went ahead and got this one gallon corner aquarium that has um 
multicolor lighting. I think I got this for Saba when I got her uh, beta fish tank set up. I don't think I ever edited that video though, so long ago. It has a little filter in it. It has fish flakes that come with it. Um, all I need is just batteries. Uh, if you guys need batteries, you should probably grab three of those. I think it's um, three AAA batteries not included. Uh, I really hope I have those at home. If not, I'm going to steal them from the remote. I don't recommend doing the same. Yeah, that's pretty much what we got for the filtration. And then we got this rainbow gravel because it was the cheapest. It fit our price range. Um, you could probably get the other colored gravel. You just really don't need five pounds of gravel for a, a gallon aquarium. And um, it was five dollars, so you wouldn't have any money for decorations. But we got this rainbow gravel. It was only three bucks. And it's two pounds, so pretty much a steal. And then we looked at the SpongeBob SquarePants line of ornaments, and all of them were broken. Truly tragic. Uh, what we got is this cute little starfish dude. Hang on. This cute little starfish dude, look at him, just vibing. I don't know what he's doing. He has a bucket of sand. You know, he's just having a good time. I, I'm, I like that vibe. And then we also got this cool neon colored plant. Uh, only 98 cents. I thought that was way cooler than just buying like a green thing of grass, you know. This neon plant is dope. Uh, and then I also bought this, but this is just for my daily pond feeding routine. Um, if you guys want to see the pond and my red tail catfish at the end of the video, uh, I'll put it there. Stay tuned. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and head home. When just like that, we are back home. Uh, we're going to go ahead and inbox. Inbox. We're going to go ahead and unbox this new tank. I'm super excited. I love doing cute little projects like these. So let's just get to it. All right, so inside, we already went over that. Let's go ahead and open the box. All right. The lid, I'm assuming this is where the light will go. All right. It's gonna flip it upside down. Boom. Ooh, instructions. Uh, don't need those. I'm gonna go ahead and go over all that for you guys. Here's our free fish flakes. And I'm guessing in this box and all in this bubble wrap is our light, our filter. And uh, I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and open that. Oh, it has like a nice little button. Cool. All right, we'll get to that later. I think it sits in there like this and the water goes out underneath this. Have a little filter pad back here. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so tiny. Oh my gosh. Well, it is an extra small. It says it on the box. I don't know if you guys could see it, but uh, we also got... A little suction cup, and I'm guessing this mounts to the back of the filter. We're going to go ahead and put this in and um, stick it on there. However, the first thing that we have to do is we have to go through everything and rinse it out. Just because we don't know what's on them, because um, they might have been cleaned. It's just always good to rinse out your gravel, rinse out your tank if possible, and always pre-soak your filter. But we'll do that after we put in the water with the dechlorinator. So let's go ahead and rinse out all the stuff we got. They look like nerds. This is actually really cool. That should be enough for now. Still got half a bag left. <laughs> it looks cool. All right. So we do have some leftover gravel, but we could always save this for another project in another day. So now it's time to set up the filter. I decided to put my tank over here. It's up against my kitchen, cute little area. Um, let's go ahead and set up this little mini filter. 
So I'm gonna soak it inside of this water so the filter's all ready to go. I actually got a bit of gravel. Oh, so it's actually the filter's supposed to sit on. I'll show you guys. So it's actually supposed to sit like that. All right, and then let's get that suction cup on here. All right, got it all set up with the lid, filters in place. Go ahead and grab the starfish that we got and our neon blue plant. So this is about to be dope. Lid. So I'm thinking this plant in the back here. Just like that. Perfect. Plant looks dope right there. All right, and then we got our starfish. Comment down below what we should name them. Whatever has the most likes, we'll name them that. Right there. Seems good to me right against the plant and boom just like that we have our dope setup okay and honestly if you ask me that looks sick so i'm gonna push that against the wall just like that i'd be facing the kitchen you know whatnot uh i might put the star on the other side just so you could see him from the dining room we got here there we go that looks dope okay uh, I'm gonna top it off with a little bit more water and then we're gonna plug in the filter and then after that we're gonna set up the lights. Here we go. In three, two, one. Woo! Look at that! That thing is pumping! Alrighty! That thing is dope! Those three jets are pushing water up against that wall and it's sliding down into the tank as you can see. $12 guys, $12 tank like this. But yeah, so a uh, bit of a bummer. I can only find two AAA batteries. So I, I really wanna show the rainbow lights though because my friend has a sink and it's absolutely dope. Um, so maybe later I'll go and grab some more batteries so I can show you guys. So obviously guys, before I get all those comments, I know this tank is only a gallon. It's not really big enough to hold any kind of fish. That's also why I'm not putting any fish at the moment or talking about it. The most I'd put in here is probably a shrimp or two, you know, just to vibe, you know, see how they're doing. I would never put a fish in here. It's just too tiny, too much room for waste or too little room for waste actually and all that fun stuff. So. Um, yeah, I would not recommend putting fish in this, but it was really fun to see what we could do with $20 at Walmart. Because I could have gotten a bowl, but I wanted some like actual filtration, some lighting, something cool. And this was only 12 bucks. And you guys saw the other tank, it was 20 bucks, but that means we wouldn't have extra money for uh, decorations. And that's honestly a better size tank for a betta fish. So there are options. I just wanted to get something solid and still have money left for decorations for you guys. But yeah, I'm not putting fish in here. And if I were to put shrimp in here, I'm gonna wait a month for the tank to cycle. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle in some fish flakes just to let some get some of that bacteria in there. I might even take some uh, water out of my red tail aquarium and put it in here, but um, yeah. Uh, for 20 bucks, this thing came out pretty dope. Uh, after I get the lights, if I ever get it situated, I'm gonna go ahead and roll that montage now. All right guys, so I managed to get some AAA batteries and the light is running. It looks amazing. It has different color modes. It has like a rainbow color mode where it keeps switching through the colors. And let me just, let me just show you guys. Check this thing out. Uh, it also has like a timer for two hours, four hours, and six hours. All I have to do is press this cool button. There's like a different kind of rainbow, which is like the lighter colors, and the other one was the darker colors. So that's the fading one where it goes in and out with the colors. Blue. We have the white, blue, green, red, light blue. Light purple, pink, I guess. Yellow, blue, light blue, and that's it. Uh, if you ask me, for $12, this thing is absolutely sick. I mean, if you 
If you really want to start a tank, go for it. I actually had an idea. I kind of want to put like a little crab in here, which I've seen at the pet stores. I just never bought one because I was afraid to put them with my fish. But honestly, if I put them in there, wouldn't that be dope? And uh, laid it on the road if I need to upgrade the tank size. I honestly wouldn't mind doing that. I mean, look at this thing. I could just throw it in the pond, honestly. But look. This thing is so dope. Let me get you guys a montage. This is my red tail. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my other videos of me feeding him, uh, my last few videos are actually me feeding him some live shrimp and things like that, live fish. So if you haven't seen those, go check it out. Back here I have my beta tank. You can't really see them right now, but they're eating. There you go. Yeah, that's my beta tank. I just fed those bad boys. And then out here I got my pond. A bird came the other day, ate all my goldfish, almost ate all my bluegill. Uh, not too happy about that. Didn't really want to make a video because I was already um, bloated about it. I just got that filter. This should be next video. I've been having trouble setting it up as you can see. Uh, and I got kind of frustrated with it. Frustrated with it and I didn't want to deal with it until later. But yeah, I miss my goldfish. Oops. Well, I'm going to get stung by a bee. Oh! Holy crap. Anyways, you guys, if you guys haven't already subscribed, like I said in the beginning of the video, after you saw all of that, I can imagine that you want to, so go down and hit that subscribe button. And also turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a video. I always try to upload every other few days, at least twice a week. Um, but yeah, I also have a part-time job alongside this, so it's kind of hard to maintain it. But if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below a name for that starfish. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Stay wavy.